Hey what's going on guys, Zaki here back with another video and today in this video I'm doing another smartphone review. Now before you go all crazy uh, about me making smartphone videos every day, um, there is a huge demand for smartphone videos to be honest. Every one of you really wants smartphone videos, so I really cannot stop making myself uh, stop making smartphone videos, <laughs> so th this is why we're here. So today in this video we'll be talking about the Realme 8 5G, it is the smaller brother of Realme 8 Pro, but before I talk into details, Please make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel for more contests coming out because we are posting a lot of contests if you haven't noticed. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The sibling phone of Realme 8 Pro aka Realme 8 5G is quite different and here's how. Unlike the Pro version, the Realme 8 5G comes in two color variant which is supersonic blue and supersonic black. Now that sounds pretty amazing. Unfortunately, we had our hands in the blue, wish we had the black one instead but then again, the blue looks pretty amazing too. The build is done in a way making the phone comfortable while giving it a super premium look with 8.5 millimeters super slim thickness <laughs> and quite frankly it looks really really good and it looks better especially the black variant when compared to the pro version all ports and buttons including volume up or down speaker and usb type c ports are beautifully located around the side more about the type c port later in the video though due to the fact they wanted to keep the price as low as possible there are many cuts but trust me you might not even notice them they place the fingerprint sensor on the power button and it's quite fast the display uses the same it is a 1080p by 2400 FHD plus with a bit bigger 6.5 inch screen but unfortunately with 90 hz refresh rate just like the pro you can see a hole punch camera on the top left hand on the screen a 16 megapixel to be more exact with f 2.1 aperture and uis video stabilization everything photo or video taken will come out better than what you might expect from your typical 23000 taka smartphone talking more about the camera a weird setup is used which at first seems to be a quad camera setup but only three cameras are talked about which also includes their own website anyways a 48 megapixel f 1.8 aperture lens is used for the primary sensor along with four centimeter two megapixel micro lens and two megapixel black and white portrait keeping all these running you have a 4890 million battery and it is supported with 18 watt fast charging capacity which really does do good they went with octa core 7 and m 700 percent Processor, making the phone 5g capable now people might have different opinions about all the companies going crazy about introducing 5g smartphones even though we don't have 5g in our country which is true but here's my opinion the world is moving fast and someday which is sooner than we think 5g will be knocking at our doorstep for someone using a 23,000 taka phone it isn't easy or worth spending extra money to change their phone for this new added feature let me know what your take about 5G phones are and if you think 5G phones will be something a little more controversial. The phone has an 8GB RAM with 128GB UFS 2.1 ROM and fortunately you can expand your storage up to 1TB with an external memory. So dear iPhone, if you are wondering if people need 1TB of storage, they're gonna have to buy your iPhone 13. Well, uh, that's fortunately not the case. <laughs> Now, is it better than the 8 Pro? Absolutely not. But you do need to keep in mind what you're spending and all the features you're getting in return, which is better than many smartphones within the similar price range. And yeah, please do stay tuned to check out our Realme 8 Pro review. So this is it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe because it really does help. And if you have watched this video to the end, thank you very much. I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care, guys. This is Zakir. Goodbye. Peace.